Off. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Drew's Farming Life and of course I am Drew. We live here on a dairy farm in Scotland and we milk around 180, 185 cows at the moment and we fatten all of our fat cattle. A uh, bull calves, so we've got some bullocks up the back here in this shed, and then young calves in the bottom end here. Uh, working away at the straw there, so we'll eventually get our bottom bay back there. Um, so, uh, some Aberdeen Angus limousine crosses in here. We've got some Belgian blues and the uh, young calf shed in the back, a uh, young calf shed around the front there, then the new shed. So they're coming through now, they're looking really good, so we're going to AI more. Uh, we do a lot of AI and we AI all of the main lot with sick semen or beef, depending. But then the young heifers, they get put to the bull at the moment. He is a Frisian, but we're looking to change him soon because young, his young heifers are coming through now as well. But with crossing the Frisians, we end up with... Uh, fattenable uh, Holstein Frisian crosses so the black and whites do hold a little bit of fat on them compared to being just pure Holsteins which would mean they were taller and they'd be a lot harder to fatten so at the moment we're kind of in the depths of winter uh, I would absolutely love to put that inside but we just do not have anywhere to put it so We'll need to get her looked over very soon because it's coming that time of year. And then we're going to be doing more slurry. We've spread quite a lot of slurry recently, but we'll need to give her another dose soon and that'll get it really growing for first cut, which will be ideal. <laughs> so in today's video, we're changing a cattle crush head yoke because the last one is gobbed. Young stock kept escaping out of it. Uh, their heads would pull back through, it wasn't ideal and any kind of semi-wild ones uh, if they threw their head up it would hit the wee notch at the top, I'll show you that in the video and uh, they would escape so you can hear a still saw going the now, that's dad cutting it up so I better run round and see what's going on <laughs> Putting a new head joke on here, the last one is absolutely gubbed They'd batter their head off of this, which would hit up and then they'd escape. Happened more times than I'd like to admit. But with this new setup, it'll be pretty good. And you can narrow it and widen it for bigger and smaller cattle.
short ones, being a bit stubborn. How about? Are you wanting that? All right. You're on the top one? Yeah. You on? Bend in the pipe though. Uh, I need to push it through a bit more. Yeah. Hang on. Hey. Right. Hey, yeah. right. good. Push that first one, drag the second one, filled in the hole, and give the second one a another run to fill in the gap now. Give it a proper weld. Not bad. Either. I'll hold it anyway. I'm going to try and get a weld underneath it, but welding upside down is never easy. Right. For pushing that, I think I've done alright. I'll drag the next one across the top of it just to make it more solid. If in doubt, get a clout. Do you like my ice pick for a chapper? <laughs> Amazing the stuff you find on a farm. Don't know how the hell we've ended up with this, but we've got it. <laughs> right, next two runs done. Pulled the top one this time. Pretty good. Try and give the underside a go. Probably should, to be fair. I will, but I'm not good at upside down weld. Not good at normal weld. I give it a bash. <laughs> not proud anyway, but there's something there. Right. Now for the bottom one, then for whatever dad gives me for these. Front, uh, this side of the crates ones, so. Yeah, getting there, slowly, but surely. And then we'll have a new hedgehog. 
bro. Finally done. Got these three on now. Those three. All that's left to do is tighten them up. So that'll do for today, folks. <laughs>